Let's take a look at the new near real-time metric collection for vSphere objects in vRealize Operations Cloud. Previously, vRealize Operations would allow you to collect metrics by default at 5 minute intervals all the way down to 60 second intervals. With this new feature, we can collect metrics at 20 second intervals. With this additional resolution, we can quickly identify any sort of rapid or short-lived changes in our environment. So for example, any sort of blips in storage or network IO or brief spikes in CPU demand. So with this 20 second collection interval, we have a greater chance of catching these things. Whereas before, if they're short enough events, they may get averaged out. Additionally, you'll be able to see results much faster in vRealize Operations Cloud. So let's start off by taking a look at some of the metrics for one of our vSphere hosts. So I'm going to go in and look at this vCenter here, open up the data center, span out the cluster, and select my ESXi host. Now for this example, we're looking at our VMware Cloud on AWS vCenter. However, this applies to any vCenter that's connected to vRealize operations. So if I expand out my metrics, let's look at CPU demand percentage. And if I zoom into this metric here, let's take a look at the data points, and you can see that these data points are being shown at the five minute interval. Now this vCenter is already configured for near real-time metric collections. What this means is that vRealize Operations Cloud will continue to collect metrics at the five minute interval as you see here. These metrics are used for calculated metrics such as capacity or even super metrics. To view the near real-time metrics, simply click on this button at the top of the metric window. Near real-time metrics are collected and stored up to three days, and you can view them in 24-hour windows. I mean, just look at the resolution here and the number of metrics that we've collected in the short period of time. This looks a lot different from the five-minute intervals that we saw before. Now, it's not just ESXi hosts, it's for any object within our vCenter. So let's go and look at a virtual machine. So I'll take a look at my iMagic applications here, and we'll pop into the memory metrics and just take a look at this. Now, of course, I could pop into any of these metrics and view the near real-time data here. And again, if I zoom in, we can just see how rich this data is. Of course, we don't just have to view these metrics. These metrics work with metric correlation as well. So if I go in here, I can look at my self metrics or my peer metrics and vRealize operations will automatically detect other metrics that match the pattern of our selected metric, the CPU demand percentage. And like I mentioned before, the near real time metric collection doesn't impact the calculated metrics. So for example, here, if we look at the capacity remaining for this virtual machine, there's no data to display. Now you may have noticed that our near real time metrics show this blue clock icon to indicate that they're near real time. So if I were to click on this icon here, we can switch this metric back to the five minute interval. So how does this increased metric collection impact our alerts? Well, notification alerts will take advantage of this increased collection. However, metric based alerts will by default still use the five minute interval. However, we can go in and we can clone and edit our symptoms. And right here we have this checkbox to evaluate on near real time data. Now, the reason why we don't enable this by default is because we don't want to create alert storms. I mean, just imagine if you had an alert that was configured to send you an email or a Slack notification or open a ServiceNow incident every time a metric exceeds a certain threshold. With this increased collection, that could potentially trigger a dozen or more notifications for the same event. But yet we still want you to have the ability to configure your alerts to use the near real time collections. Now, another place we can configure our symptoms to use near real time metric collection is through our policies. So let's go into our default policy and you'll see our new policy editor. So let's go in and edit this, select our alerts and symptoms, and let's just go ahead and pick a symptom. So let's look for our cluster compute resource and we'll pick a symptom here. So let's look at the CPU contention. And by opening up the swizzle, again, we can see the checkbox to evaluate on near real time data. Now, by doing this at the policy level, I can evaluate on near real time data for just specific objects within my environment. So maybe I don't want this alert to trigger for everything, maybe just for my most important resources. 
Now to enable near real-time metric collection, it's a single click configuration. So if I go into my vCenter cloud account, I can just click this one checkbox to enable near real-time monitoring for this vCenter. So this is all handled at the vCenter level. Now I'll just check that I understand what I'm doing here and save the configuration and near real-time monitoring will take effect immediately.